if your Bobcat miner is not resyncing with the Helium network, then I might have uh, something for you uh, that I will share. Also, I'm going to show you how you can have a dashboard for your SenseCap and Bobcat miner that kind of gives you an idea of what's going on with your Helium hotspot, which is quite important. Also, uh, on the side note, I just realized on my Bobcat miner that it gets really affected by direct sun. So try to make your Bobcat miner um, away from direct sun. That's basically it. The antenna can be anywhere. doesn't matter. But the device itself has to be away from the sun. So let me show you the first thing. So I found this article on Bobcat Miner Reddit page. Now the only weird thing about this article that the post, whoever posted it, uh, he deleted his account. But it's, I think it's safe. I've done it to my uh, Bobcat just a few hours ago. So basically what they're trying to tell you is if you have a Mac, then you open your terminal and you're going to just copy this and all you need to change is you enter your IP address just like this. The IP address is not of your router. The IP address for your Bobcat Miner. And this is only for Bobcat Miner. So if you have a sense cap, this is not for you. This is just for Bobcat Miner uh, firmware. It will speed up your syncing process. So once you copy this, you insert your IP address here for your Bobcat Miner. Then you paste it in your terminal or if you're using uh, Windows you can use the command .exe and then just enter and it will do the process on its own so it's pretty fast uh, straightforward and then you can follow the steps here in case you want to uh, to make sure everything is doing well now I'm gonna put you the link for the second one here which basically it's the dashboard for the Bobcat what do you need to do is the same IP address you enter here you're gonna enter it on your browser and once you hit enter you will have access to uh, your Bobcat Miner diagnostic so you can actually uh, check the temperature you can check uh, the syncing you can reset you can do a lot of stuff so it's pretty cool and pretty easy so this is pretty it. Uh, I think it's straightforward. If you guys have any questions, that's, you know, uh, I think it's just very simple. I'm going to leave the links. I'm going to even copy this for you guys. It will be in the description. So all you need to do is find your IP address and then copy the whole thing from the description and then you're set to go. Now for SenseCap users, there's nothing for you to, uh, there's no firmware that you need to update. However, this is very very interesting a website that i've just found out that not a lot of people know about it it's called status.sensecapmx.cloud so what are you going to do here you're going to enter uh you need to register and once you register uh you put your uh, serial number on your sense cap you can see it on the back of your sense cap and you put your email and all that stuff and it will uh give you access to this now um I don't want to show you what's what's inside because it shows my IP address and all stuff. But once you click on it, it will show you how healthy your SenseCap is doing out of 100%. It will show you if it's synced. It will show you if it's relayed. It will show you everything that you will need. So it's pretty good uh, to have, obviously. And um, one of the issues I faced with SenseCap, if you guys uh, need heads up, uh, I contacted and issued a ticket inside the Discord of SenseCap, not Helium. And they were able to solve it uh, immediately. So it's pretty nice service. So if, if that's something that you're facing or you're having trouble with, that's, uh, that's my answer. Now, there's one more thing that I saw people in Discord were asking me. Oh, what about Syncrypt? What about Nebro? What about... Uh, I don't have the answer for all of them, but it's the same thing. So... There are three major places where these guys, like, you can find them. Uh, Reddit, Discord, and the last one will be probably Twitter. And uh, I think Discord will do a very good job. I think Bobcat Miner, in this case, they're more active on Reddit. I know it's pretty ridiculous that each one of them is in one place. 
while they used to be all under helium, which was, I think, was better. But it is what it is. So guys, I think this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, I've been very happy with downloading these um, or registering my devices. They're, they're good. I mean, I like them because I can, what I can understand now, what if there's a problem with my hardware? Instead of me trying to contact SenseCap or contacting Helium, what's going on? And maybe the problem is with my hardware. So that's a good way to look at it. You check your hardware. If it's performing well, then you're good. Then you have to check if there's a new updates from Bobcat, SenseCap, or maybe there's an issue with Helium. So um, if you guys like this content, please subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.